All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you true, sincere brethren out there, pushing out this purified truth, cleansing this wicked, defiled kingdom with this word. And to the rest of the church who believe as well, keep the faith. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. All right. So before I play this video, I'd like to state that the one you know as God and Jesus Christ, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, they are not dealing with you Edomites. Okay. You don't have the spirit. You'll never have the spirit. Okay. And a million years from now, into a billion years from now, you are not going to be a part of this covenant. Okay. You heathens need to understand one thing. These scriptures are for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and the confusion of face out there who may look like these other nations, but in fact, go back to our people. So this video I'm about to play, it just pretty much shows you the lame spirit these Edomites have towards our book. All right, let's go. I don't read the Bible. Yeah, I totally do. I actually have it in my backpack. Not really. I do not read the Bible. I used to when I was a kid because I had to. <laughs> I'm Muslim, so I read the Quran, so I do not read the Bible. I do read the Bible and just so that I can get fed spiritually um, each and every day. I don't. Now, before I go further, you notice how the Israelite woman, she answered more spiritual than all of them. Now, although she doesn't have the truth, the fact that the spirit bear witness all right now there are some of our people who don't believe in the scriptures or whatever the case may be but if you notice just pay attention the lame spirit that these devils have when it comes to the heavenly father and his son but you see the difference within this israelite female this israelitis okay personally read the bible i've read parts of the bible i don't uh, except in the past I have as an academic text. Mainly because I don't follow religion that follows the Bible. <laughs> I don't, mostly because I don't really believe in what the Bible says. Primarily for academic reasons. It really has nothing to do with me. Jesus is like... <laughs> Just like this Edomite stated, it has nothing to do with you, and he is absolutely correct. The scriptures have nothing to do with you devils. Right? My savior, he's like most important thing totally changed my life so i read it to learn more about it i'm kind of uh, agnostic it's just something i've never really felt strongly about in my life i read the bible just to get, to get inside i'm agnostic so i just take a purely literary interest in it i've never read the bible in my entire now, life i've never uh had to. they may take this video down for copyright reasons i don't know but i think in order for it to be a copyright infringement it will have to match up exactly how the video was played. So I would assume that the voiceover on this video may prevent this video from being took down for copyright issues. But through the spirit, you will soon find out, you know, once I post it up. All right, let's go. I am religious. I don't really read the Bible much. It doesn't have a role in my day-to-day -day life. I read it because my faith is a super important aspect of my life. I think it's mostly like an... Now, out of all the Edomites, she's the one who's saying she has a connection. Now, whether she's an Edomite or she's a confusion of face, it doesn't matter. But what you see here by the majority of these Edomites, they have no doing with the scriptures. But guess what? If you was to argue with any one of these people about the scriptures, all of a sudden they would be <clears throat> biblical scholars. Okay? All of a sudden they'd be believers overnight. Okay? Uh, maybe when I was younger, I don't know, this is too busy reading counting books, to be honest with you. Rather than something strictly true. I don't really take interest in it. <laughs> a lot of people say, oh, that was written 2,000 years ago, but things that I read are happening today. The things that I read um, in the Bible pertain to a lot of situations right, right. that I face. And I was never raised to read the Bible. My mom's pagan and my dad's not a non so. That's what I was raised up with. If I was raised Christian, I'd be reading the Bible, but... Is what I was raised up with. Of course, I've read the stories like Noah's Ark, the Garden of Eden, and the like, but I've uh, never wanted to delve beyond that. It just seemed like a fable or You're a fairy tale more than anything else. Um, I've read Genesis, um, 
Leviticus, various things, um, just to Anyways, help contextualize a lot. The Lord is not dealing with you devils. Let's get into some scriptures. I don't even want to watch no more of this. Okay. I got the scripture ready in Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. <clears throat> Who can know it? So the scripture is telling you that your mind is deceitful. Your mind deceives you to think that the Bible is just some book or the Bible is a light thing or the Bible was just some myth that was wrote for inspiration for us to live by today, not to be taken literal, but to be taken as motivation. You should be able to believe what you want to believe and follow who you want to follow. That's what your heart tells you in this society. When you're dealing with these Edomites, you wicked ass Israelites are going to find out they do not have the spirit. Spirit bears witness with our spirit that they ain't Israel, man. Okay? But y'all keep trying to save these Edomites because they come off so nice. And, and you know, you, when you talk to them, it seems so peaceful because you can't talk to your own people in that same manner without some argument or some kind of jealousy but when Esau comes around and our people get to you know switching up per se all because of what how they speak as nice or as soft-hearted as these devils speak they do not have the spirit man they lack the spirit okay and, and no matter how we bring these things out, you people just don't get it. You keep trying to save Esau, right? The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it, all right? And all of these MF is on here, but two, I believe, pretty much said the Bible is basically, it's, it's not important, it's not a part of their life. It's a fable, a myth. Okay, <clears throat> but the heart is deceitful above all things and you Edomites are deceiving yourself. You're going to find out that this book is true. All right, the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans and the confusion of faces go back to any one of those people on their dad's side. Those are the Israelites today. We're going to jump to Proverbs 28 and 26. He that trusted trusteth in his own heart is a fool but whoso walketh wisely he shall be delivered so trusting in your own heart you're a fool these people are foolish they're giving foolish answers answers that are really just vain that hold no weight to it and just like the Israelite uh, female said it applies to her life today alright there are things that she reads and it applies to her life. Well, guess what? You're an Israelite. That's why it applies to your life. Okay? It's spiritual. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. So Esau, you are a fool. You were created to basically trust in your own heart. You were basically created to not have the understanding. Okay? To be the devil. But whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. So how are you going to be delivered? Walking wisely. How do you walk wise? By having the wisdom. Where's the wisdom? In the scriptures. How do you understand the scriptures? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai dealing with you. So when the men who were set up to teach you, teach you, and you get it. Okay, long story short. Everyone else is going to be destroyed. Okay? <coughs> but you know, these devils, man. All they focus on is their own vain opinion. That's all they ever do. That's all they've ever done. It's depending on their own vain opinion. Like their opinions matter. Regardless of how you were raised or how you was not raised. Okay? It does not signify whether the Bible is real or not. And the fact that you don't believe in the Bible, that is perfectly fine because it is not for you in the first day place. Alright? Nehemiah 9 and 1. Now in the 20, now in the 20 and 4th day of this month, the children of Israel were assembled with fasting and with sackcloths and earth upon them. Okay? 
okay, being in a humble state. And the seed of Israel separated themselves from all strangers and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. Okay? So why would they confess their sins and the iniquity of their fathers? Because they know, okay, through the Spirit, they are their fathers who, who sins they're paying for now or at that time. Just like we're praying that the Lord forgive our sins and whoever else we were before the life we live in now. Okay? We have to confess our sins. We have to humble ourselves and confess our sins. All right? And the seed of Israel showing that this is a a uh, a seed line. This is a family. This is a heritage. This is not a religion as you would call it today. And the seed or the sperm, right? And the seed of Israel separated themselves from all strangers and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. And you people have to also understand that in the Bible, you have two strangers just like you have two Gentiles. You have to know when to apply that stranger because the stranger could either represent Israel or a stranger could actually represent heathens. Verse 3. And they stood up in their place and read in the book of the law of the Lord, their God. One fourth part of the day and another fourth part they confess and worship the Lord, their God. Okay? So guess what? As it says here, they read the book of the law of their God. Why would it say that? Because the Lord, Yahweh is the God of Israel. Okay? The Lord is dealing with Israel. So that book, by default belongs to the nation of Israel. It has nothing to do with you either, just like that Edomite male said earlier in the video. Okay, it does not apply to his life, but yet the Israelite female, she said that it applies to her life. See, I, I caught that. You have, to, you have to catch these things, man. Okay? You have to catch these things. Uh, and they stood up in their place and read in the book of the law of the Lord their God. Okay, so the book of the law belongs to us. Because who was the law given to? According to Psalms 147, the law was given to Israel, and the Lord has not dealt so with any other nation. Okay, let's jump down to like 16, is it? Nope, let's go to 13. Thou camest down also upon Mount Sinai and spakest with them from heaven and gavest them right judgments and true laws, good statutes and commandments. And this just reconfirmed what I just spoke, who the laws were given to. The laws were given to Israel. Okay? Just as it says right here. Right? The laws were given to Israel. I'll read it again. Thou camest down also upon Sinai, or upon Mount Sinai, and spake us with them from heaven, and gave us them right judgments and true laws, good statutes and commandments. So following these scriptures, okay, that's where you find true law. You're not going to find true law dealing with these, these Edomites, who you are constantly trying to save. And made known unto them the holy Sabbath, and commanded us them precepts, statutes, and laws by the hand of Moses thy servant. So this book belongs to us. This book has nothing to do with you devils and your unbelief, okay, and your your vain babbling is not going to change that, okay? It's not. The Lord is it's not dealing with y'all. That's why y'all have a very lame spirit when it comes to serving our power. This is 2 Thessalonians 3 and 2. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Okay? And that's not even the one I wanted. That's a good verse too. Because guess what? The so-called white man, he saw, he has been revealed. He's being exposed. Alright? Whether it's through his Illuminati, whether it's through his media. Alright? The list goes on and on. Alright? Whether it's through his uh, pharmacy. Okay, but the one I wanted is actually in the next chapter. So this is 2 Thessalonians 3 and 2. All right? 2 Thessalonians 3 and 2. We can do one. 
Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. And we have to be delivered from Esau. These devils don't believe, man. And they're wicked as hell. They're the wicked, okay? You have Israelites who are known as wicked, known as being wicked. I think you can find that in Ezekiel 33 where it mentions uh, the Lord... He doesn't, he doesn't want to see the, the, the wicked be destroyed per se. Okay, he actually wants you niggas to repent, but the fact is you're not. All right, but the wicked, the wicked is Esau. Okay, so I'm applying this scripture to Esau because this could be twofold. All right, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. We have to be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. No matter how you break down the scriptures, you're still going to have those who say, oh, the Bible's not real, blah, 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 blah. All right, and all that jazz. Okay, so the fact that uh, these devils don't have the spirit, and just like this effeminate you see right here. I mean, come on, man. You think the Lord is dealing with that? You really think the Lord is dealing with someone like that? You think he, he looks like a, a mighty warrior? You know? Does he look like he... He's trying to follow after the footsteps of our forefathers. No, he's 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 a devil. All right. He has the spirit of a devil. He's totally Esau, man. All right. The Lord is not dealing with them. Look at that, man. That's just crazy. That's that's confusion. All right. But you know what? I'm going to uh, pull out one more verse. I'm going to hit it straight and I'm going to close it out. All right. I'm going to hit it straight with no chaser. Hebrews 4 and 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. All right. So more so our people, they've heard this truth and they don't believe it. Guess what? Oh, well, this isn't for y'all. This is for those who have the faith. Even you devils, you've heard this truth. You don't believe that we're the children of the Most High. You still think that you're going to get away with all of your heinous crimes that you've done in your past and the things that you do in this life as well. All the secret hatred that you feel for Israel, you thinking all that's just going to be swept away under the rug and no one's going to ever hear about it again? You're out of your mind. Okay? The reason why you don't believe the scriptures is because, yeah, you heard the gospel, but you wasn't mixed with faith. Okay? Why? Because faith is a gift. And everyone's not given faith. And if you're a heathen, you, you damn sure don't have faith. Alright, so you devils, man, just need to hang it up. You know, enjoy your life. You know, there's nothing wrong with you enjoying your life. This is your kingdom. But nevertheless, just leave our leave our book alone. Okay? Which has nothing to do with you. You don't have the faith. You don't have the spirit. And with that, I'm going to close it out. Kahala, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai.